Hi there, I'm Josh Goldman, and this is a look at the Samsung Series 7 Ultra, a laptop released prior to the launch of Intel's fourth gen Core i series processors. So, if you want the latest components, you can stop watching now. Uh, for those still with me, though, uh, this is a pretty nice Ultrabook that's thin and light and has excellent battery life. The uh, design is top-notch with an aluminum body that gives it a great high-quality look and feel. And at a little less than four pounds, it won't have your back and shoulders aching if you're carrying it around all day. In general, you get a good assortment of ports, but Samsung went with two USB 2 ports and one USB 3, which uh, at this point just shouldn't be happening on something around the $1,000 mark. Like many Ultrabooks, uh, to keep it thin, there is no optical drive and the battery is non-removable. Inside, you'll find a very nice 13.3-inch 1080p touchscreen LCD, which is, of course, very handy for navigating the Windows 8 interface and text and video happen to look great on it, too. The keyboard is spacious and backlit, though the shallow body doesn't allow for much travel. The click pad works well too and supports multi-touch gestures up to four fingers. Inside is a third gen Core i5 processor with Intel HD 4000 graphics with four gigs of memory and 128 gig SSD. The combo worked well for processor intensive tasks but was fairly average when it came to anything that required graphics power. Basically, it's fine for enjoying multimedia but nothing more than casual gaming. Uh, battery life, however, was excellent at just over six hours, but I can't help but wonder how much longer it would be if it had a fourth gen processor in it. Still, six hours is nothing to be upset about, and if you absolutely need a laptop now, this is worth checking out. Otherwise, it might be best to wait. I'm Josh Goldman, and that's the Samsung Series 7 Ultra.